I'm here with my friend Tavadra. Tavadra, what is mindfulness-based stress reduction? Well, mindfulness-based st stress reduction oil is called MBSR. It's an approach to mental health that was developed in the States by John Kabat-Zinn in Massachusetts in the late 70s. And initially it was used to help people with chronic pain, people that the doctors had tried to help through surgery, through medication, but these people were still struggling, they were still in pain, they were still upset, they were still really facing uh, a real challenge with their illnesses. And Kabat-Zinn used some approaches that he'd learned from some of his Buddhist teachers, meditation, yoga, um, to really help people. And so he established, really, for the first time in the West, uh, a whole approach to medical care that was based on uh, methods that, that originally were used in the Buddhist tradition as well as other religious traditions around the world. And this has been phenomenally... Phenomenal, uh, uh, <laughs> it's been phenomenally uh, successful in that his ideas were then taken up by uh, some cognitive therapists in the UK uh, and they created their own course based on his approach called Mindfulness-Based Cognitive Therapy which is something I teach uh, and is used within the NHS. And that's, that's designed and aimed more at people with depression, anxiety. But I suppose my experience, having taught for the last eight years, is that pretty much anybody with a mind, um, and that's everybody, uh, will, would benefit from learning about, about how their mind works, because that's what they really learn about. They learn, what do I do when things get difficult? Uh, how do I deal with things? And in particular, how we make things more difficult for ourselves by the way we react, how we get anxious, how we get stressed, how we overlay what are already challenging situations with patterns of behaviour, patterns of thinking, particularly self-criticism. I think one of the main ways that <coughs> mindfulness helps people is that it makes them more aware of, of how hard they are on themselves, how when something goes wrong, if you make a mistake, those voices can come in so quickly of, oh, you idiot, oh, you, you've messed it up, or oh, you're a terrible person. And this, of course, has an, a very negative impact on us. We don't feel happy when we're in the grip of those kind of inner critical voices. So mindfulness works in all sorts of different ways, but I think the main way probably is that it helps us to be a little bit kinder to ourselves.